A new era is underway on Capitol Hill. Congressman Paul Ryan is now the Speaker of the House, ending nearly a decade of John Boehner's leadership. But will a change at the top shift Republicans in the House or heal rifts there? Here to break it down for a fair and balanced panel, Fox News contributor Angela McGlowan and radio show host Mark Levine for a very spirited debate. Thank you <laughs> so much for joining us. Now, Angela, I yes. want to start with you because this is very personal for you. Yes. Can uh, now Speaker Ryan mm -hmm. really... Uh, get the troops together? Can he heal the, the, the different fractions in the House and get stuff done? That is why they lobbied him so to do this. If anybody can do it, Paul Ryan can. And Paul and I met each other when we were staffers on Capitol Hill. We both worked under Newt Gingrich, the contract with America. He had integrity then. He had tenacity then. He had focus then. That has not changed. And people in the party respect him. Okay, integrity and tenacity, you heard it here from the Miss Angela well, McGlowan. I agree, if anybody can okay. do it, Paul Ryan can. But nobody can do it, and therefore Paul Ryan can't. Okay, <laughs> but now, and I, and I want to ask that because we saw, yes, we did see the debt ceiling come uh, to, a, to right. an end here, but exactly. that was because of John Boehner, yes. so. No, that's also because of Paul Ryan. See, Paul Ryan wanted John Boehner to clear the deck for him. He wanted John Boehner to do wanted. all you his dirty work for wants. him. You don't know what sure, he wants, you don't know what he wants. Sure, he did, he voted for it, he voted for it. He wanted him to clear the deck to do all the stuff he with Democrats. He was disgusted with the process. Of yes. course he was, because the irony is you need Democrats to get the speaker to, to do the job, right? The That's House, right. at the end of the day, the House of Representatives may be controlled by Republicans, but it's Democrats that do the work of government it's not day Democrats after day. Democrats that do the work of government, they do it together. And again, going back to the contract with America, President Clinton, a Democrat, signed 70% of it. And you did have partisan politics then. But members of Congress knew, Elizabeth, when to come together to create a better America. Well, I agree with Not you. Not a better ego, but a better America. John Boehner could work with Democrats. Paul Ryan could work with Democrats. But there's a wing of the Republican Party, the Tea Party wing, Freedom Caucus, call them whatever you want, that do not want to work with Democrats, do want our, not want our government to function at all. They want the whole thing to fall apart. And they're not going to support Paul Ryan when Mark, he is reasonable, like John Boehner and, is. And the House, obviously the House and Senate are two different entities. The House is based on rules. But how do you change a culture and get back to the basics? He said, I want laws to be created in committees. Can he do that? Well, look, let me give you an example. So right now there is a law being done through the committee to basically harm the 9-11 responders. Which committee? This is Goodlatte's committee. I forget which, which one it was. Judiciary. but I think it's judiciary. So there's a bill for 9-11 responders. It has the support of two-thirds of the House, filibuster proof in the Senate. We all should respect these heroes. And I think Paul Ryan would vote for that bill too, but they're going through the committees and Goodlatte wants to do harmful things Elizabeth, to our first responders. Going through committees is not going to be what the American public wants. This is what liberals wants. do. Mark knows going through committee, you just don't have a clean bill. You have different amendments that are tacked onto the bill. So there must be something in that bill that Paul doesn't agree with or some Republicans no, don't no, agree with. I think Paul would agree with it. What they want to do is they want to give it for five years rather than a permanent health care. It's 33,000 people that were harmed on September 11th. This has the support of the vast majority of the House and the Senate, but a few Republicans, like Goodlatte, are holding it up. This is what's going to harm Paul Ryan. He's going to have to be torn between so what optimistic. most American people want. You're okay, so, so you're optimistic. saying that he's going to look just like the former Speaker John Boehner. I've, and, and I like Paul Ryan, but I think he's going to end up just like John Boehner. You? I don't think he is. Again, I go back to the time with Newt Gingrich. And if you remember at that time, it was a lot of controversy, a lot of strife, but Newt Gingrich brought the party together and brought Clinton on board. Let me finish brought Clinton on board, so I don't see why Paul cannot do that this time for the Republicans and Democrats. New but is he going to end up being as popular as he is now if he, if he is able to make those strides? You know what? Popularity, you can't live off of that. So I don't know, but I know this. He's a great leader. He was a great VP candidate, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do as speaker. All right, Michael, Newt Gingrich shut word. down the government. Uh, I don't think actually <laughs> Paul Ryan is that stupid to do that. Why I are you think I think people stupid. Mark? Well, because it was not a <laughs> smart thing to, to shut down the government. I mean, it, well, and I think Republicans have seen it hurt them politically. Did you enjoy the '90s? All of the cash, the surplus, the balanced budget. I enjoyed budget? Bill Clinton's yeah as president. The, but, Bill Clinton signed that. Republicans brought it through. After he made sure the government wasn't shut down right. anymore. We'll end up on that note. I don't think, hopefully we won't be seeing any more shutdowns. We I had a not. great week this week, so I think we're okay. And hopefully now that we have the new speaker, um, we will continue on that trend. Thank you both for joining Thank me, you, Angela man. and Mark. I appreciate you, a very spirited debate. Hope to have you back. Coming up, a Washington.